Hey everyone, Greg Hung here, and what we want to do is learn how to mint an NFT on the Crypto.com NFT platform. So Crypto.com launched their NFT platform March 2021, and it was mainly selected artists like Snoop Dogg and curated artists that got invited to create NFTs on their platform on the CRO, also known as the Kronos blockchain. So crypto.com today, we're currently recording March 23rd, 2022. Forbes has ranked crypto.com as one of the top global exchanges and they are spending heavily in the sports marketing world. Just to give you an example, they have taken over the naming rights of the former Staples Center. It's now known as Crypto.com Arena for the next 20 years. They also sponsor the USC sports kits and other sports like soccer and a whole lot more. And I think there is a potential upside to getting exposure to Crypto.com, whether it's their app, their token CRO. And I also think there's huge benefit to being on the crypto.com nft platform they were one of the first platforms they do accept crypto pay and i had experience as a customer trying to bid for nfts and i've actually purchased nfts on this platform so it was very interesting to be on the other side minting my own nft on this platform so let's get started before you begin what you will need to do is have a account on crypto.com the app so you will need to provide your information that's not going to be covered in this video you will also need to sign up for an account on crypto.com forward slash nft and that's also not covered in here and if you want to create you will need to click that button create on their nft platform you will need to apply and fill out information like your website, social media, portfolio. So I applied for that and I just got my email today saying that I was accepted. So we're going to start off this tutorial once we've already been accepted and we're logged on to the platform to the point where we're just going to upload our artwork, mint it and price it. So once you're logged on to crypto.com, forward slash NFT, click create, and you'll have this window where you can choose your file. Notice that they have JPEG, PNG, GIF, WebP, maximum 60 megabytes, and soon they'll support MP4 video. And then you'll need to put in your name, your description. If you want added to collection, you can. This is optional. And then you'll also need to choose whether this is an artwork, sport, music, crypto, gaming, uh, you can choose up to two categories and then you can choose how many editions that you want. You got a maximum of 10 and then you'll need to complete the check boxes to comply with their specific guidelines so you can read them. Now at this point, I'm searching for the image that I wanna use for my NFT. I already have an image ready and I'm just looking for the file and we need to make sure that this file is under 60 megabytes. So the very first file, Vancouver Red NFT, I remembered I minted that on OpenSea. So I want to mint a completely different image that just is unique, it's exclusive to crypto.com. So I found that and I'm just going to adjust my description of the NFT because this is a different location. So this is actually one of my favorite locations and somewhere in this image is where I stay in Vancouver. It's also one of my favorite neighborhoods. It's called Yale Town. During the summer, I believe it's one of the best places to live. It's got an amazing seawall. It's got parks, very convenient because it's downtown you got public transport to most of the city and i thought it would be fitting to mint my very first 
NFT on crypto.com as the Vancouver seawall. So I'm just checking all the boxes here. I've selected three editions. And the next step is to click mint. So this takes several minutes, maybe up to 10 to 15 minutes. So in the meantime, what I'm going to do is fill out the rest of my profile. I think this will help on the marketing side if people can see a face of the name or an image as well as filling out some of your social media details. So people that are not familiar with you can get more familiar with you. You can see here I can select the three editions, but at this point it's not available to sell yet. You can see there in small writing under the sell button, your NFT is being minted. Okay, so we're just gonna edit some of our profile details. You can see we can upload a cover photo, upload a profile photo, and there's a cap on the profile photo of one meg. You can fill out a bio, your name, your social media. And these are actually uh, similar questions to what they're gonna ask when you apply to be a creator. So I'm gonna fill out my Instagram, epic footage, I'm gonna put in my Facebook, and I'll come back to this to fill it out a bit more, but at least it's flushed out a little bit. I think it's very important to change your profile photo. I'm gonna change it to something that reflects myself as a creator, maybe something where I'm actually creating with a camera but that particular photo was over one megabyte so I actually have got another photo in mind something that people can put a face to the name so again I didn't read the details there so I selected something that's under one megabyte so hit save so after I finished my profile, I noticed that the sell button was now lit. So I clicked on sell and you can see here, this is edition one of three. Remember we have three editions and we have the option of selecting a fixed price or an auction. And when we select an auction, we can select the starting price as well as how long this auction will go on for. So we can see here the breakdown there is a 1.99% fee that goes to crypto.com. The creator receives the rest and you need to check your email for a verification code. After inputting the verification code, you'll see a success message. And now you can see the starting bid at $200. You can see the auction time countdown has begun. And there's even a button there to check the crypto.com chain org details so i'm just taking a screenshot here i think this is good for sharing on social media and remember there's still two more additions that i need to put for sale okay so we want to click select edition to select edition number two and press the select button and over here we can click sell and then we get the same screen to select a fixed price or auction. Simply a matter of going through the same details. And in this case, I'm actually selling edition number two for slightly less. That's just me. You can decide if you want to sell them for the same price or less. But in a nutshell, that is how we can create an NFT on crypto.com NFT platform. So I hope you found this helpful and we'll see you in the next one. Now, if you are new to NFTs and you want to learn more about them on how to mint on other blockchains like Ethereum, Polygon and Solana and minting them on platforms like OpenSea, then be sure to check out our cryptocurrency NFT course. Links will be in the description. Thanks for watching.